So yeah, we're reviewing Pink Floyd's uh, Love the Studio titled Wall that came out November 3rd, 1979. This, this Pink Floyd record was definitely one of the best Pink Floyd records. It was on their UK Harvest Records and United States by Clinton Records Bass singer Roger Roger Waters could say that was a rock opera during Pink Floyd that sang the flesh in the flesh tour when he became so frustrated you know, that he, that he spat on a sort of course pink a jaded rock star character that Waters modeled himself after the events of Richard Lear said Barry Pink's that begins with the loss of his father during the second world war between his abuse on the school teachers recording the last one from the same day to the children made some of the stops in France, England, New York, and Los Angeles with artists with the keepers, Bob Bob Ayers and well who we find the cops as a bridge band tension to keep words which were fired by wires which affects what stay as a salary position, making well the last album record of waters. Right guitarist and David Gilmore and Dora Nick Bass and Long which span eleven years in nineteen ninety eight when people had staged the wall as a lot to where his support out during the actual efforts positively it's the wall that should receive a mixed response for critics of the first success reaching number three in the UK Elvis chart. I mean the album contained Never Breaking the Wall Part Two Run Like Hell, Comfortably Numb. 